Hello everybody. The purpose of this video today is to compare the three variants of the seal. The dynamic, the, the uh, premier, and the, uh, also the premium, and the uh, all-wheel drive or performance. I've driven the whole three, I've driven three of them. Um, the link to the dynamic is down below, and the link to the performance is down below. So what we're going to do today is, um, on this video, is we'll have a short um, video of the um, premium, and then we're going to, um, and I'll go into the detail of the specifications um, between the three, and uh, my thoughts as to um, which one is the one to buy, depending on what your um, motivation is. Now, from a personal point of view, I'd like to make two points. I've got an 803, which I really like. It's going to take a fair bit to get me out of that into a, into another car, um, because I really like that. I <laughs> really like the 803. It's spacious and it's fast and all of that. The other thing I'd like to make out is I'm not a professional reviewer. I'm an amateur. Um, I've had a lot of um, cars. I've had a couple of performance cars, including you know, WRX and, uh, and the old Starion back in the old day. Um, I've had a lot of luxury cars. I've had th four Mercedes. Um, and I've had the you know, the original Honda Civic back back in 1973. I bought it brand new. So... Um, and I, can, I counted them up the other day, and I've actually had 33 different cars in, in 50 years, uh, 53 years, actually. Goodness me. Okay. So <clears throat> as long as you realise that I'm an amateur in, in this and don't take what I say as a final final um, uh, decision-making um criteria and um, please check yourself and I'm only saying what I, what I think anyway so what we'll do first is we'll have a look at the um, the, uh, the premium premier premium um, uh, video so what we'll do first is we'll have a look at the um, pre, uh, premium video and uh, then we'll have a look at the specification so I'm doing 42. I'll just see what the pickup's like. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, there is a big difference between this and the performance. Um, well, that was fast. <laughs> but nothing. Nothing like last week's performance in that all wheel drive. Um, oh, oh she goes. <laughs> Sitting in the car, it feels just like the performance. You wouldn't know that you weren't in the performance, but when you're driving it, you can tell the difference. Um, not that this is any slouch, um, but the performance just, yeah, you put your foot down and you're where you want to go. And you, you still drive, um, you still drive sedately. But having said that, I mean, yeah, pretty, this is pretty damn fast. It's really good not having to wear glasses in the car to see the dashboard. Well, I mean, the dashboard's pretty good. Um, oh, okay. That's good. I've got the cruise control. I've got the cruise control up on the um, on the heads up display, and uh, I can see it really well. That's wild. I, I can't see it here.
so I'm going to start, go up on the highway and see what it's like cruising on the highway. Um, I suspect it's going to be very nice, but it's definitely, um, it definitely feels different to the performance. Now when I was in the performance, um, I shot up here. And you can shoot up here as well. Yeah, it's hard. I've got it on um, 90, um, cruise control on 90, and it's, it's so comfortable to drive, it really is, it's, um, no glasses, pretty cool. So I really just wanted to see um, whether, whether they could, the difference between the Premiere and the uh, performance. Um, I don't know if it's my imagination, I'll do some research, but I think the suspension is different. Um, this one's a little, a little bit more bumpy than the uh, in the um, performance, so <laughs> it's no slouch. It's no slouch. smooth as a performance which is really weird I'll do some research but it might be my imagination it's probably my imagination it doesn't look like you're changing lanes without putting the blinkers on that's for sure Well, if my wife only lets me buy the uh, Premier and won't let me spend the extra money on the performance, I'm not going to be all that disappointed. Um, Thank you. 
So the difference between the premiere and the um, performance, um, I do feel bumps more in this car than I thought I did in the premium. Oh, sorry, um, I do feel bumps in this car in the premium more than the performance. Now, I don't know whether the suspension is different. Um, it handles just as well as the performance. Um, it doesn't give you that kick. It doesn't give you that... Pr that I suppose the best way I can describe the, um, in the performance when you accelerate is you get pushed into the back seat, and you get pushed into the back seat, and you get pushed into the back seat, and you just keep being pushed into the back seat. Where if this you get pushed into the back seat, you stay there. I know that makes sense. Um, so would I pay the extra $10,000 to um, buy the performance over this? My head says no, my heart says yes, <laughs> I think I will. Tell you what, I'll tell you what, any car I buy in the future is going to have to have heads up, heads up display. It's, um, it's pretty good. And before we move on, I'll just um, replay um, a, a little clip from the dynamic and a little clip from the uh, performance, um, just to show, just to show some of the comparison there. Oh, goes good. It drives. It drives. It drives really good. It drives really well. Um, there's a lot more acceleration in it than I thought. I mean, really. It's only um, it's only like point two of a two of a second behind an Edo three. Edo three is pretty quick. Oh, oh she goes. <laughs> yeah, definitely try it out. Oh. And oh, that's not amazing. It's so fast. Oh. It's oh, so this. silent. Oh, the handles really well. Really well, she's stuck to the road. Isn't it stuck? Center of gravity is like the center of the earth with these. Here we go. Wow. So that was 80 to 100, and I changed lanes, and I felt totally in control. My passenger was probably a bit worried. <laughs> but it's my was, first time in the car, too. <laughs> It's incredible, isn't it? It's so nice. I can't wait to drive it. Before we start talking about the differences, let's talk about some things that they um, look the same as. Um, the first one I'd like to talk about is the sunroof. Now, you've probably heard me rattle on about how it doesn't get hot. Um, and you've probably also heard that um, other people say it as well. It is a fairly common um, item that people talk about, the sunroof doesn't get hot and the car doesn't seem to get hot. Now, why is that? Well, it's got a silver coated sunroof. So what does silver coated sunroof do? Um, How is that different to a tinted roof? Well, let's just have a look at that, shall we? So if we have a pure glass sunroof, just a pure glass, um, the sun comes straight through and it heats the whole whole place. It the whole car gets heated. Now, now if we have tint, how tint works, particularly dark tint, is it doesn't let so much of the sunlight come through to heat the cabin, because what it does is it absorbs the heat. And what happens when it, it that, so it doesn't let it through; it just absorbs the heat. So what happens when it absorbs the heat? The sunroof gets hot. So you've got this situation here with the sunroof getting hot. Now, when the sunroof is hot, it's like a radiator. It radiates heat into the, into the car. So that's why people in some cars, um, I won't mention names, but in some cars, they feel that they can feel the heat from the sunroof. So 
if you think about it, dark glass absorbs the radiation and doesn't let it go through. The way it, when it absorbs it, it heats it heats the glass up. And the glass becomes a radiator. So the darker the glass, the hotter the glass. So if you put a really dark tint on, like a lot of people do, stop a lot of the light through, it'll stop the rays coming through, but it's going to get super hot, just like having a very dark colored car. So what does, so with this, with the, um, with the silver plated sunroof, what happens is it reduces the amount of um, radiation coming into the car by reflecting it away. So some radiation, some of the sun's radiation does penetrate the car, but most of it, or a lot of it, is reflected away. So it doesn't absorb the heat, and that's why it does get hot. It's amazing. The seals have also got in common that they're low to the ground, um, and <laughs> they're a sedan, so they're not an SUV, so you don't climb up into them, you, you get in you sit in them. So some people have been worried about their ability to get in and out. Now I'm early 70s and uh, um, I'm five foot seven. Uh, this is me getting in and out of the car. Okay, so how hard is it to get into these sports cars? So people have been worried about that. Well, let's have a look. So I open the door. It's very wide, lots of space that way. Now let's see if I can get in it. Oh, not a problem at all. That is not a problem. Let's have a look at the differences, Sherry. So first column is dynamic, the second column is premium, and the um, third column is performance. So this is all pretty much the same. This is all pretty much the same. Um, the weight's different. There's about uh, 120, about 120, 130 kilos difference between them all. Um, so the dynamic, um, it's got the same size motor as the um, as the Atto, um, and I won't point the details. Um, 400, uh, sorry, 7.5 seconds uh, for zero to 100 where the Atto is 7.3, so it's like it's fraction slower. It's probably because it's a bit heavier. Um, it, it's got, a, it's got a, um, a range of 460, so a little bit less than the Atto. Okay, so the, the rear wheel um, drive um, vehicle, um, the Premier. Okay, so the Premier um, has got a, a, a bigger motor than the Dynamic. It's... 230 um, kilowatt hour, uh, kilowatts, and the torque is 360. So yeah, the difference between these two. Now the all-wheel drive has got the same motor in the back as the um, Premier, but it's also got almost the same motor in the front as the Dynamic. So it's got both motors, and as consequence, it's 3.8 uh, for zero to 100. Um, so the range, uh, 570 is against um, 520. Ah. So the difference um, between the all-wheel drive and the others is it's got frequently selective dampening. Just me. When you've got an inconsistent load, such as you know, bouncing of the wheel. Um, sorry, bounce, bouncing of the wheel. Um, it it reduces the amount of suspension so that it's it 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 so it's more comfortable. But when it's got a when it's got a um, consistent load like you'd have in a corner, it, it it increases the suspension. So effectively, what that is is when you're driving along a rough road. It's smoother, and when you're handling, it's flatter. Now, I did notice that if you if you looked at that video um, when I was driving, it did feel the Premier did feel a little rougher 
you know, it, it felt the bumps more than the premium, and I did notice that. And I also noticed that when it went around the corners, it was a lot flatter. So that, I'm glad it, I thought I was imagining it. So that's pretty good. Okay, so the charging, the charging of the um, dynamic is um, at 110, which is um, higher than the 85 with the um, 803. And the charging of um, the other two is at 150 um, kilowatts. Remember the same size battery. Now the rest is just pretty much the same here. Pretty much to right home here. Okay, it tells you torque adaption. So the um, performance has got um, the intelligent torque adaption so that uh, there's no slippage on the wheel when you accelerate, and, uh, and that's true. Uh, this is a silver-plated glass roof with some insert that I've been reading about. Uh, auto tilt of the mirror, uh, continental ties on the Premier and the, and the uh, um, performance. Um, is it, on the dynamic, it's imitation leather wrap as against leather wrap. I couldn't tell the difference in the steering wheel, so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, oh, what happened to the heads up? So the Premier and the uh, all-wheel has got a heads-up display, and the heads-up display is unbelievable. Um, so that's basically um, that's basically the difference from a specification point of view. But what I'd like to talk to you now is, is about is um, which car is better and all that sort of stuff. So. Um, if you're tossing up between the Atto 3 and the um, Seal Dynamic, I think it really comes down to whether you want a sedan or whether you don't want a sedan. Um, they both pretty much drive the same. Um, you've got more room in the Atto, uh, and that's, that's for sure, in the back um, in particular. Um, but the back seat, I mean, when I say the back, I mean, the luggage sort of area. Um, it's an SUV type car, the Atto. Um, but if you particularly want a, a sedan, um, and you know you're tossing up between that and the Atto as far as the price goes, um, go for it. Um, go for which, whichever one. So I've got no no real recommendation there. It really is up to you. Yeah, that comes to the. Um, Premier and the all-wheel drive. Now, if you've already taken delivery of your Premier, um, probably stop the video now. If you haven't taken the... Um, so some people have driven the performance and thought, okay, I'll go with the Premier because the Premier is obviously going to drive, you know, you're going to feel fast, it's going to drive just like the, the um, performance. And the only difference is... When I plant, plant my foot, it's going to go a lot faster. And, and you know, it drives the same. So, like, why would I spend 10 grand just to go from, you know, an extra couple of seconds from zero to 100? I'm not going to do that very often. Well, there's a huge difference between the two cars, <clears throat> not just the speed. The comfort, the, 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 it's just an incredible car to drive that, that um, performance. So if you've driven the performance and you haven't driven the Premier and you've decided to buy the Premier, what you really need to do before you actually take delivery of the Premier is to take it for a drive. I would say most of you, most of you that do that, will upgrade to the um, performance. Okay, it's 10 grand. You're going to get the 10 grand back when you sell the car because it's going to be the high demand one because it's so much better. Um, I can't, I can't, it's, it, it's smoother to drive, it's um, better on rough roads, um, the acceleration is, is instant, um, if, you, if you want that, 
the car is just a complete package. Um, so unfortunately, if, you're, if you've if you've already got your premiere and you're happy with it, I mean that's fine. I'm not. I'm going to get a lot of people not liking this video because I've just said that. Um, but if you haven't bought the, if you haven't signed the documents for the premiere and you haven't taken delivery of it, please do yourself a favour. Please drive the premiere and just make sure that that's what you want. Um, you know, ten grand is ten grand, obviously. Um, Okay, so what am I doing? Well, I was like one of the ones that I actually ordered both. Um, and what I was after driving the um, performance is okay. I'll probably. So I've got an 803, and I really like that 803. It's the best car I've ever had, and it drives really well, lots of space. And the only real reason I was getting into it or getting out of it and getting into the, into the seal, the main reason, um, is um, yeah was the more power faster, and the sedan really didn't worry me. Um, <clears throat> but having driven the three cars, um, it's get, it's going to take a pretty decent car to get me out of the Addo. And the dynamic doesn't do it for me. I mean, it's a great car, um, but I prefer the Addo over that. And um, the Premier, I'm not going to you know. I'm not going to get rid of my auto for the premiere because it doesn't. But I will. I will get the um, performance over the auto. That the performance will get me out of the auto. So tomorrow I'm going to go to BYD and I'm going to cancel my premiere order. So that's what I'm doing. Um, for those that don't agree with what I'm saying. <laughs> Look, it's just my opinion. <laughs> so if you're still watching, uh, just a couple of um, quick things. Um, yes, you can put a tow bar on. I've been asked that a lot. Um, I understand that it's 1,500 kilograms of of, um, of load that you can carry with it on the performance for sure. Uh, I'm not sure about the um, Premier. I believe it's also uh, uh, 1,500 as well. And I don't know about the dynamic, unfortunately. Uh, yes, you can have tow bars. Uh, the other question that, oh, sorry, um, yes, you can have um, uh, roof racks. The other thing that um, I've been asked a bit about is the underneath protection. So um, the company that I import the the um, fronts from, um, they're, they're actually the largest uh, manufacturer of um, BYD product in, in China. So we've got the full range. I don't only bring in what's heavy. So they have the underneath protection for both the Atto and for the um, sealer. I didn't really worry about bringing. I brought a couple of the the um, Atto three um, protection plates in. But anyway, there's two types. There's full magnesium, which is like bulletproof, um, but it's very heavy. Um, it weighs. Weighs about 50, 60 kilograms altogether. Um, okay, so there's there's a battery, there's a motor for the rear and the motor for the front um, protection. Uh, with the Magnanese, it's uh, 50 kilos about, just on 50 kilos. Um, the other is the Magnanese and aluminium, which is still pretty tough, but it's a lot lighter. It's about half the weight, but it's double the price. So in Thailand, they don't have the good roads that we've got. Um, it's a roaring um, thing over there. Most people are are putting the um, protection on the on the seals. Whether you need it in Australia or not, I don't know. But I'll just give you some details. Um, the price to um, the local price, and this would be plus delivery because they're going to be pretty heavy damn things. Um, a better grand for the three for the for the battery for the motor one and the motor two. It's going to be about a thousand dollars, and it's going to be around a couple of hundred dollars to ship it around um, Australia. So you're probably looking about twelve hundred dollars. 
Then you've got to fit it. So you need a hoist to put it up and, and all that. Um, if there's interest, let me know. And, um, and I'll see what I can do about getting um, details as to how to, how to install it. Um, maybe we, if it if there's a big demand for it, maybe we can find some installers around um, the country that's willing to install it for you. I'm not going to get it from my seal, but um, unless I don't think I am. Uh, anyway, so that's that's an option. Let me know in the comments down below, or, or email me um, if it's something that you want to do, and I'll, I'll see what I can do about um, bringing a. You know, Bring your batch in. I mean, that's probably the best way to do it. You know, get some orders and bring it in. And then I could probably do it for maybe about $800. Um, the, the issue is uh, the issue is the cost of the freight to bring it in. The more you bring in, the, you know, the less it is per unit cost. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to end it there.